So I'm uh, back with part three. Let's continue here. Trusting in the Lord. All right. All right. Where are we? Verse seven, I believe. All right. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. You see that? They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever. You see that, people? Again, the Lord is just coming back to do two things. He's coming back to get his elect and he's coming back to destroy Esau, Edom and his Edomite beast system, his military, all right? NATO, the EU, you understand? And all the other nations and their militaries as well. He's coming to take them down, collect crowns. He's coming to kick ass. He's not coming back here with flowers and candy or hugs and kisses. All right? And this stuff is in the scriptures. But what have they told you? They go around, they got people walking around talking about, oh, are you saved, brother? Are you saved? Ain't none of you saved. Okay? And the Lord is not coming back here, like I just said, with flowers and candy. He's coming back to kick ass. All right? They that put, listen up, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. You see that? Where does the truth lie? Right here. This is the testimony of the Most High and the testimony of his son brought out through the prophet. What are we reading here? The wisdom of Solomon. Okay? The same thing if we're reading, you know, Psalms. We're reading, you know, about David. The Psalms of King David. Or the Proverbs. Or whether we're reading, you know, Matthew, John, Luke. Okay? Whatever it is, do you understand coming from who? The prophet. Because the prophet are what? We are the mouthpiece to the Lord. And this starts with our elders on down. All right? So they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints. Who are the saints? Go to Psalms 148 and 14. Okay? It's talking about the Israelites. Okay? You are the saints. You are the righteous. You are the meek. You are the poor. Do you people get it? Do you understand? You Negro Latinos and Native Americans. That's you. All right? And he have cared for his elect. How, how are we at this point? Because he's cared for us. He's cared for us throughout. When you're in those situations, you, you people can, you can reflect on this. We've all been there. Okay, where you live paycheck to paycheck. You know, you, you, you pay your rent. Okay, you, you make your car payment again, and, you know, you're doing so much with your money, okay? And then you say to yourself, how the hell are we going to eat for the next week or the next two weeks? And somehow you make it. I'm telling you right here, he cares for his elect. And by the way, his elect will eat, all right, throughout the tribulation. Uh, what is that? Isaiah 65. What is that? Isaiah 65. Give me a minute here. Let's see you. Bear with me. Isaiah 65. What is that? 13. All right. What does it say here? Therefore, thus saith the Lord, 
All right, God power, all right? The most high, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. All right, this is talking about Edomites, the two-thirds of Israelites, all right? The people that are not in this truth, that don't have it, they, they're not Israelites, they're not part of the elect, all right? Behold, my servant shall drink, and ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry of sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You see that? You got that, people? See that? All right. See that? So he have cared for his elect. He's going to take care of his elect. You see? All right. And uh, verse 10. But the ungodly, that's the wicked. And that's talking about Esau right away, but that's two-thirds of Israelites as well, who are joined onto Esau. They take counsel, but not of the Most High. They don't take counsel of Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai, as we read in Isaiah, the 30th chapter. You understand? They'd rather go down to Egypt, rather go down to the Pharaoh, all right, trusting in America, Babylon the Great, all right? All right, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. See that? Okay, because what? They trusted in perverseness, all right? In wickedness, okay? Matter of fact, I'll, I'll run us over there in, uh, in a minute. Give me a minute. Which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. See that? All right, let me jump over there for you. All right, what is that? Uh, Isaiah 30, chapter I said, right? Isaiah 30, all right. See, whoa. Which means instruction to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that taketh counsel, but not of me, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. See that? That walk to go down into Egypt, America, Babylon, the great people, all right? And have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves, all right? But they strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh to trust in the shadow of Egypt, America, Babylon, the great. You see that? All right? Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh trusting in America, Babylon, the great be your shame, and the trust in the shadow, right, of Egypt be your confusion. Trusting in America, Babylon, the great. We jump down here, right? Uh, what does it say here? All right? Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, right? You two thirds of Israelites, you want to trust in, you know, uh, this place in Esau, all right? Because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness, which is wickedness, and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity, right? This sin shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. You see that? Swelling out in a high wall who's breaking coming suddenly at an instant, okay? Again, as it says in, uh, what is that, Isaiah 13 and 15, those that are joined on to it shall be thrust through with the sword as well, all right? All right, that's the point. All right, let's go to uh, Psalms, all right? Let's go to Psalms, all right? Uh, Psalms 9 and 10. Let's see here. And they that know thy name, what is the Lord's name? The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. We say Yahweh Bahashim coming in the name of his Son, Yahweh Shai. All right? So Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So we have the names. So you have to know the names. All right? And only the 144,000, only the elect will know the name. Okay? So ain't nobody here calling on Jehovah or any sweet Jesus. It's Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. 
That is who we pray to. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, the Lord Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. See, and you got to seek the Lord while he may be found. We're not always going to be here on the internet. They're taking down videos and pages. And, you know, again, there's going to be two famines. The famine of the word. And there is that famine. The famine's already started. The food is just going to get worse and worse and worse. All right? So there you go. All right. Um, I still want to go. Let's go to what, Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Let's say it. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. See that, people? In order to do that, what do you need? You need faith. That takes faith in order to do that. You understand? And the only way you can build your faith up is to be in these scriptures. Okay? All right? You have to be rooted in these scriptures. All right? Because we read about it all the time. Give me a minute here. This is Psalms 91. What does it say here? Right? On the first verse. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. So what's the secret place of the Most High? These scriptures. All right? In the parables, the dark sayings, the allegories. Okay? The prophecies. Okay? These scriptures. So he that dwelleth in the secret place, which are these scriptures, all right, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You people got that? You get it? All right. Okay. And verse 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Always do that. You know, morning, noon, night. Always acknowledging Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Shai. You know, the food you eat. You know, uh, what you're drinking. You know, you understand the things that you have. All right. And that, you know, he keeps you from the evil, all right? Always praying on to the Lord that he brings you all the way through to the end. So you, because you have to endure for him to give you the strength to endure, the courage to endure. You understand? All right? And to he that overcometh and endureth until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. You understand, people? All right? You're going to rule. You're going to have slaves. Yahweh Shai backs that up in Psalms, right? The second chapter. I ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance. All right? All right. We'll let this here. We'll be right back, uh, I believe, with part four. Show up. <laughs> 